Hello everyone, iSchool Tech here. Apple just released iOS 13.5 Beta 4 to register developers, and I also want to make a quick update regarding iPhone 7 and 7 Plus overheating and drainage issues. Now before we get into the video, if you do happen to be new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button with notifications turned on to stay up to date with all the latest news, announcements, and of course updates from Apple, as well as reviews, tutorials, and more from iSchool Tech. Every subscriber I get truly does mean a lot, it's very appreciated. If you didn't already know, I have started a Twitter page, and you can follow me using the link in the description down below. Timestamps are also in the description if you'd like to use them. Anyways, let's get straight into the video iOS 13.5 was iOS 13.4.5, Beta 1 released several weeks ago bringing much needed bug fixes as well as security patches and general improvements. Some of these fixes include a string of text that could crash any iPhone, and a mail vulnerability where a user could gain remote control over the target user's inbox. Beta 2 released a couple weeks after the first beta bringing more fixes and improvements, and early last week Beta 3 released renaming 13.4.5 to 13.5 and brought the first iteration of Apple and Google's COVID-19 Exposure Notification API. Let me know in the comments down below if you'll be using the COVID-19 Exposure Notification feature iOS 13.5 Developer Beta 4 is now out for all registered developers with compatible iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch models. iOS 13.5 Developer Beta 4 comes in at around 146.7 MB on my iPhone SE first generation. This update is beta software and is not out to the general public just yet. Now the build number for this update is 17F5065A, meaning this could very well be the last beta before a full release. This fourth beta of iOS 13.5 brings bug fixes, possible security fixes, and most likely general optimizations. This update could potentially fix an issue some users experienced while on iOS 13.5 beta 3 where Face ID would not work. In beta 3, Apple improved Face ID when wearing a mask to make it easier to unlock your iPhone while wearing one. Some users later complained that Face ID would stop working entirely. Another critical issue with iOS 13.5 beta 3 could cause an iPhone to brick itself. When a device is bricked, it's damaged beyond repair and you must get a replacement device or buy a new one. So let's hope that this issue has been fixed. Another fix I hope to see targets iPhone 7 and 7 Plus users. Throughout all versions of iOS 13, iPhone 7 and 7 Plus users have been experiencing battery drain and overheating issues. On iOS 13.5 beta 3, I and many others had noticed that battery life saw a significant increase. However, I still noticed that my iPhone 7 would constantly overheat when performing the most basic tasks. Now I'll be doing extensive testing with iOS 13.5 beta 4 on the iPhone 7 and see if this issue has finally been fixed. I'll of course keep you all updated in regards to the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus overheating and drain issues as I know many of you are having issues with this. I will have a full review of iOS 13.5 beta 4 on the iPhone SE first generation and iPhone 7 coming later this week so stay tuned for that. As always, if you do have any questions, make sure to leave a comment down below. Alright everyone, that's all I have for this video. If you did enjoy the video or find it helpful in any way, show me by leaving a like. And if you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber really does mean a lot, it's very appreciated. Don't forget to check out the iSchool Tech official Discord, link in the description down below as always. Also make sure to follow me on Twitter using the link in the description. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.